Hello everyone. Welcome to LICD Lecture 37B. Today we are going to discuss AMP non-idealities, and next topic will be effect of DC offset voltage on non-inverting and inverting amplifier circuit. So let us start. So first of all, let me just put this in the full screen mode. Oh. Okay, so let us start with OPAM interfections or non idealities. So far, we have considered ideal OPAM parameters for all our analysis, right? We have considered that uh, the input bias current are almost zero, there is a zero DC offset voltage, right? But OPAMs are also having several uh, non idealities, or we, call, we can call it as imperfections. So four of them are mentioned over here. Finite gain, ideally it's infinite. Second is DC offset, ideally its value is zero. Third is input bias current, ideally it's zero. And uh, fourth is the finite speed, ideally we consider it to be infinite, okay? But we need to understand how these imperfections influence or even the functionality of the circuit that we are trying to build, right? So uh, we have already seen an analogy of driving a car, right? We, one can drive a car without knowing how the, you know, mechanics of the engine works, how does the gear uh, ratio box work and all that, correct? But in order to be a very efficient, uh, you know, a car driver, wherein even if the car broke down, we all know what to do, which part to, you know, repair or, uh, you know, immediately act on it, right? So knowing the internals of the car is also a very good feature of a car driver. Similarly, we have seen or studied the OPAM without knowing its internal features. But right now, knowing them will give us more authority over the device and uh, we can control it uh, to our precision and accuracy. Fine. So let us begin with our first op-amp imperfection that is dc offset okay now what is dc offset let me again a little bit more uh, clarify so dc offset they are random voltages that appear at the input of an op-amp okay now let's consider this scenario that uh, you have an op-amp right so it is powered with plus or minus plus or minus VCC and VEE. It has an number six V majority output, and we apply the input to the two pins that is V minus and V plus that is inverting and non-inverting amplifier. Now, ideally, when V plus is equal to V minus, the output voltage should be zero. But due to DC offset, V plus and V minus are not equal. They are equal to some parameter, some quantity called as VIO. So now, if I wish to write the output formula, it will be V out is equal to AOL times V plus minus V minus, correct? And now we replace that V plus minus V minus by VIO, right? This proves the point that output voltage is not zero, okay? Now, let us see that graphically. So graphically, for an ideal op amp, V plus minus V minus is zero. So this curve will pass through the origin, right? But practical op amp will have a small offset voltage, correct? So V plus minus V minus is your VIO, which is not zero. Okay, so that's how we uh, check it practically. Now, next. So why does this random voltage appear at the input terminals? So the reason is, Due to manufacturing process, due to tolerances in the manufacturing process parameters, there are always some mismatches between the two nominally identical devices. You remember, OPAM is made up of several transistors, several registers inside, right? So there might be mismatch inside the OPAM internal circuitry. May not be, it may not be practically symmetric also. So due to this, what happens is when V plus and V minus 
that is even when we put uh, inverting and non inverting input voltages are same in magnitude output is not equal to zero okay. so the next question is how do we model this dc offset to incorporate the offset voltage in our calculations right earlier we have considered this dc offset to be zero but right now we have seen that it's not zero right so there are few observations we have to go through so observation number 1 is vio is random okay so not only its value is random but its sign is also random that means what that means that it either vio can be positive or it can be negative there is no way to determine that actually second observation is vio that is input offset voltage can be placed in series with either of the inputs okay so how do we model it we can model it by placing a small battery in series indicating vio okay and uh, normally when we talk about the uh, randomness it can be determined in terms of represented in terms of gaussian distribution so we can uh, know how much vio is uh, we, we can know how much the value of vio is from the data sheet uh, of ic741 and its value is 6 millivolt or minus 6 millivolt let us check that in uh, one of the uh, pdfs okay let me check yeah i have the data sheet with me so this is the data sheet the first parameter we can see over here is the vio value vio and its value is around 6 millivolt okay its value is 6 millivolt under these test conditions okay so Uh, so according to the gaussian distribution it can lie anywhere between plus 6 and minus 6 vio value okay now now we know that what is your input offset voltage okay i think i should put it in the full screen mode again okay now we have seen what is input offset voltage or dc offset voltage now we apply this concept uh, apply this on the non inverting amplifier let's say so let's study the effect of dc offset on the non inverting amplifier okay so this is my normal non inverting amplifier with just one change your vio been added at the input terminal in series with v in source okay so with this we can say that your two sources that is vio and v in are in series so what was the output formula given by for a non inverting amplifier v out was given by 1 plus r2 upon r1 into v in but now v in and vio are in series so output will be v in plus vio into 1 plus r2 upon r1 correct so over here uh, the output expression we can split it up as follows v out is equal to v in into 1 plus r2 upon r1 plus we have this additional term due to input offset voltage or dc error which is given by vio into 1 plus r2 upon r1 now let's say in an analysis we have considered r2 as 4k and r1 as 1k so if it is that case it will be 1 plus 4 That will be phi, and uh, V out will be equal to phi times V in plus phi times V I O. Now this V I O is my DC offset. So what does this mean? This means that input signal is amplified by a gain factor of phi. DC offset is also amplified by the same gain factor of phi. Of phi. That means the error voltage is also getting amplified by a factor of phi. and this is a problem in dc measurement especially in those cases where even millivolt signal is not tolerated uh, error is not tolerated so let's say if v in is 1 volt and vio is 6 millivolt then v out is given by phi into 1 plus phi into 6 millivolt okay so that means your dc offset is amplified and gets added up so answer should be 5 volt 5.00 due to this dc offset error its value is 5.03 uh, volts 
okay so the output voltage the conclusion is like this the output voltage v out which is supposed to be 5.00 volts but due to dc offset its value is now 5.03 volts okay so that's the effect of uh, uh, dc offset on the non inverting amplifier correct now let's go to the next topic okay now next let's study the effect of dc offset on the inverting amplifier so over here we consider uh, this uh, vio source we connected in the non inverting terminal over here right and uh, can we apply a superposition theorem yes because there are two sources v in and vio we can definitely apply superposition theorem so when v in is acting alone the circuit becomes like this and uh, it this is a normal classical inverting amplifier so v out as will be given by minus r2 upon r1 into v in, correct and in the second case when vio is acting alone your v in is grounded so this amplifier looks like a non inverting amplifier uh, so v out double dash will be 1 plus r3 r2 upon r1 into vio correct and superposition theorem we have to add them together so the total v out voltage will be minus r2 upon r1 uh, minus r2 upon r1 into v in this is the normal inverting amplifier term and there is an additional term due to dc error which is given by plus vio into 1 plus r2 upon r1 okay so let's put some numbers so if let's say r2 is 5k and r1 is 1k so v out will be given by minus 5 times v in plus 6 times vio that means that my in input signal is getting amplified by a gain factor of 5 but the dc offset is amplified by a new gain factor of 6 and this is a problem in the dc measurements okay so let's say v in is 1 volt and vio is 6 millivolt so v out will be given by Minus five into one plus six into six millivolt. That is thirty-six millivolt. Okay, so this is the amplified DC offset voltage which gets added up to the original output. So originally the output should be minus five, but due to this DC error, its value is minus four point nine six four volt. So the output voltage which is supposed to be five point zero zero, but due to DC offset, its value is now minus four point nine six four volts. okay so i guess uh, uh, that's it for uh, this lecture so we have covered in this lecture the introduction of op amp uh, imperfections or non idealities and then we have seen what is a dc offset error and how do we incorporate it in the circuit how do we model it and we have seen its uh, analysis uh, its effect of dc offset on the inverting and non inverting amplifier okay so uh, that's it for today's topic next time we'll start with effect of dc offset on the op amp integrator so until then have a good day and thank you